come across students who find social science as a dry and boring course. I also have come across students who love social science and are keen to pursue higher education or a career in social science. However, parents show aversion or resistance for such interested ask by the children. Today, we have a panel discussion to explore why social science is an important aspect for everyone. Today's panel are a seasoned educators. I would like to welcome all of you. Uh, I would like to begin by asking a quick reaction on why do you think uh, social science or arts is not an interesting career for kids? So I would like to start with Ashura, ma'am. Ah, good evening, everyone. It's a very good topic. Actually, I'm a basically a history graduate. This question is there always in my mind. Even uh, in my 30 years uh, of my career, uh, people who were uh, coming for admission to 11th standard or something or the other, humanity stands at a back only. Those who are opting for civil services also, their second choice will be humanities like that. But one thing people all will have to understand that we all live in the man is a social animal living in the society for all these things, branches of our um, social studies, that is you know, civics, um, economics, and sociology, psychology, all these things are highly essential for a good civilized life that people should understand and they have to uh, come forward for all these things. And one more thing is the future as uh, doctors or engineers or lawyers, uh, how, uh, what is their, uh, um, uh, the, uh, uh, how much lucrative all those things offer after their studies, their profession, uh, choosing their profession and uh, very limited in social studies, they feel in that way. That kind of aversion, that kind of thinking that has to be taken away from the minds of all the people, only then uh, this kind of uh, scenario will change. For that, educationists will have to work a lot for all these things to come out. Uh, thank you, Shurma, for sharing your first reaction on why a social science import aspect. I would like now request of uh, Usha Rani, madam, to share her views on why do you think that social science is an important aspect for students? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. I'm uh, Mrs. Usha Rani, principal of Stanford International School and the founder principal. Um, it's a lovely question, very frequently asked, as Mrs. Yashoda put in. My take is that maybe, as ma'am mentioned, science is given more importance and social isn't. But then I personally feel when we are able to teach 2 plus 2 is 4 for a child, we are not able to communicate to the children. Let us say in civics, it is quite abstract for a young child to know what is a cabinet minister. When you say the word prime minister, a parliament or whatever, when it, children love geography, children love uh, uh, what do you call history. But then, yes, teachers do play a big role. Maybe I personally feel slowly people feel social studies is not important. Teachers, as I mentioned, are not able to you know uh, take them to an abstract world directly. The known to the unknown is not completely done. At the same time, uh, we are not able to teach the children that past is equally important when it comes to history. In making a child to understand the past life, I think there is a little difficulty level. And uh, the chapters are too vast. This is my personal take. Uh, they are too vast for the portions are the, 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 the capital that is given is on a higher uh, age, uh, 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 what do you call it, a uh, higher uh, uh, content. At the same time, um, I also have a feeling that, you know, one has to break the myth that social study is not that important, other sciences are. This, if we are able to break social studies, will become a very important subject. Because as man mentioned, that man is a social animal, yes. And society to live in first and foremost is social studies. If man is able to educate this, and then once we are able to educate all the teachers, irrespective of their uh, branches of study, and from there, it is very easy for us to educate children and develop that uh, love and affection for social studies. Thank you. 
thank you so much, ma'am, for sharing your views on why do you think true science is an important subject. And now I would request uh, um, Mrs. Suda uh, to share her views on why do you, why do you think the true science is an important subject. Good evening, sir. Am I audible? Good evening, everybody. This is Dr. N. Sudha, Principal of Sairam Vidyalaya High Secondary School. Uh, sir, I think uh, history, uh, social science, like uh, as we call it, social studies, it is our past, that is our roots. That is where our culture, whatever we are in today, has come out from those roots only. So it is like we are introducing children to how we are today and from where are we now. So the roots are very important for children to understand. And, uh, you know, like uh, children don't uh, specify any subject as interesting or boring. It depends on the teacher who is handling, make it quite interesting. And when it comes to social studies, I think uh, the syllabus, what we have is vast enough and uh, that doesn't give any room for the teachers to make it interesting or quite lively inside a classroom. And so maybe that is one of the reason like children don't take up so much interest into social studies. I still find uh, some children who are very good at social studies and they want to take up social studies at the future. Like the children who have returned their exams now, 10th board exams, but the parent has insisted him to take up only science as the group, 11th standard. And I think as uh, a community or an, as an educationist, we are responsible also by not introducing social or history or geography in their higher secondary groups along with the other main subjects. Like we have restricted it to like English, Max, Physics, Chemistry and Biology. So where is the social science inserted inside? So we should make it mandatory along with other subjects like what you have English, Max, Physics, Chemistry and make uh, maybe that will enhance even the parents to understand that this subject is also important and valid for the children to take up to a higher studies. Like right from class three or six, like, uh, you know, uh, initiate or inspire children. When you learn social studies with interest, you have got a pathway to become a collector, uh, become an IAS officer. So that inspiration is lagging. We always say become a doctor or become an engineer. Study Maxwell, you become an engineer. Study science, well, you become an, become a doctor. But we never tell the children, study social science, you'll become an IAS officer. So I think that uh, as teacher or educationist, we are also responsible for it. And, and the curriculum has to be designed in such a way that we give teachers room for making it interesting with road models or any other activities. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing an interesting insight on the possibility on both sides, why it could be challenging for children to adopt and like it, and this is why uh, the role of a teacher who could make this uh, subject a very interesting one. Uh, Mr. Marimutu, sir, I would like to take your opinion on why do you think uh, social science is one subject for children? Uh, good evening. This is Marimutu, Principal Vasavi International School. Uh, it's a long, uh, weighted question, and uh, it has to be answered to... Uh, the public and the parents of this present generation. Uh, as Madam pointed out exactly, by Ashoda Madam and uh, other panel members have pointed out ex exactly that we are social animal. Man, man is a social, you know, human being is a social animal. First, we have to understand that how we started this life. It comes from the social studies. We learned uh, uh, history and we learned Political science, we form as a government and we been ruled as a uh, 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 people. And uh, of course, geography is one of the very important core subject. Today, we are facing a lot of climatical challenges. That's because that we left out, we dropped this subject. Uh, it has not been given a proper importance in the present scenario. That's what today, a lot of climatical uh, problems and conditions, what we are facing in 21st century. As Madam pointed out very clearly that today, present generation, uh, it's a myth from the parent side and as well as from the uh, uh, children point of view that this particular subject is, doesn't have a scope in future. That's what the mindset of the people. So it gives that uh, the lagging of the uh, uh, subject and uh, interest is not towards it. As rightly pointed out by Sudha Madam, the present curriculum in social studies is too vast. 
so that the teacher is struggling to make it interest and there is no activity based learning when it comes to history or geography or even political science the time is very very important for us to make the subject interesting and more importance but that is not happening in present uh, curriculum and uh, then if it has been enhanced in future generation will understand that the importance of social studies second thing is that uh, the methodology has to be changed in in particular with social studies subject too much of uh, activity oriented or, uh, or interest based learning uh, to be developed on this particular subject and second thing is that uh, most of the cases in the uh, the present society feels that uh, this subject is not job oriented subject uh, I, I want to drop here a point that those days i remember be a defense is there be a public administration was quite comfortable in almost all the colleges but now these courses have been getting dropped uh, and it is very rarely available in only in the uh, metropolitan city and not in all the area so it shows that the job orientation of this subjects has been dropped uh, that has to be taken care by the government authorities to focus on this particular subject and uh, uh, very important that nowadays everyone is uh, running behind mathematics and science but we we forgot about the social living right that is where we started the human race started from the so social living now we uh, move on to more technological base but we forget that that is a foundation that is what we came from and we cannot we cannot left out the social studies or the subject behind where the base of living being is being started so that has to be taken care here so these are my just uh, close points uh, other than that uh, other panel members have covered uh, uh, so many points out of that thank you for this opportunity thank you very much for sharing your interesting views on why do you think social science is an important subject uh, i would like to specifically ask a question to um, utharani madam as well as ashutha madam uh, on i have come across students who want to pursue a career in arts but where has parents denied that choice for a child now as a teacher how would you respond to such child's aspiration okay uh till she joins in we should have an activity or a system where now you have this box go and we tell our children you have any problem dial 100 hum sikhate hain na like that why don't we have a system where children can have a council member or a counselor where children can speak to the person and take a choice all the schools which are given 11th standard grade 11 groups social studies has to be there it has to be mandatory if you are able to do that instead of just taking science uh, uh or biology with math with a ma uh, pure science or a computer science and then we have this business studies economics it is also very important that the school likes it or not they have to be given on social studies group so that children are not thrown out or the, because they, there is no option they go to another school or they go to government schools they take up history or whatever history is i think when you look at pondicherry i don't think uh, uh, you might have more than three schools or four schools of the entire uh, i think 63 schools are there with the senior secondary or higher secondary in pondicherry it's a very small place and of this uh, school i don't think uh, many schools have history or geography as such and also to encourage children there could be a, a system where uh, there could be like not like a complaint box or something there could be a suggestion there could be a counselor who can counsel them uh, counsel the parents regarding the scope more job opportunities could be created you know see now when you look at the university pondicherry university for that matter i know it is being recorded i should not mention it yet still there are four students who have uh, taken up uh, msc geography faculty members are 11 msc geography in university it is like quite shocking and uh, so what they do is to university share the faculty members but for those four children the education program is going on it is because they they want uh, do not want them to be you know restricted they are in for giving them uh, the course like that if there can be a little relaxation that might be a person who is very much interested in teaching these subjects but might not be properly qualified 
there can be some relaxation given or something like that. So you have more passionate, lovable teachers and uh, more children would really love to take it up. And uh, more, uh, uh, what do you call, um, you know, um, as uh, ma'am, uh, Sudha ma'am had put in and uh, also Mari Mutusa, it could be more, you know, very uh, creative uh, uh, structure if the syllabus is made. Instead of learning something very abstract, something uh, like a country which, which you are not even much aware of. Rather, you go from the known to the unknown and we can revise the syllabus a little more better and make it very, very simple and encouraging. And I am very sure children will and uh, children will not go into private uh, studies. They will take an opportunity to take up simple uh, a structure and uh, from there, I'm very sure within five or six years span, this trend will change. Thank, Thank you, you for uh, sharing a very disturbing thought of uh, you letting me know that there are 11 faculties and four students in geography. Yeah. Um, because that could be a little disappointing that down the line if this continues because this might be a threat of not existence of a department like geography, which is very vital and we require in the way the landscapes are changing the country, I think. When other countries can have scope, sir, why is it that in our country we cannot? True. Uh, uh, Yashoda, ma'am, I would like to specifically ask you an example. Have you come across any time a child walking to you uh, and says, like, I want to join arts as my higher education? And the parent who comes along with the child and says, no, no, I don't want the child to choose arts. How did you respond to the situation? Definitely, I will encourage it, sir. Because uh, art subject and especially social studies, that uh, speaks about the uh, quality of uh, people, their life, and other things. When they study this uh, subject as a main subject, definitely their uh, life will be uh, totally, they will be uh, um, with the full of uh, quality and uh, um, that kind of understanding, everything will be there with them. So it is very essential. And uh, I have a few suggestions. That is, if the subject is, Related to, instead of um, uh, studying everything, the same old curriculum, uh, studying about the past and uh, other things, if it relates with the current scenario, current economic condition, current uh, environment uh, issues, and day-to-day uh, -day political um, uh, kind of uh, civics, if it relates to the day daily life and other things, that what is uh, happening there within the world, Definitely, it will create some kind of interest among the students also. And not only that, uh, up to 10th standard, only the, the people are having uh, social studies. And for 11 and 12th standard, um, as we have uh, general studies and other things as uh, for internal mark in CBSE, we are having. Just like that, if they have this uh, life-oriented study as uh, economics, um, um, that is, uh, uh, what to say, financial literacy program and... Um, uh, geography related uh, thing, all such things, one one paper like that, one one semester like that, if they, they keep it, uh, definitely it will create a kind of uh, awareness among the uh, generation and their quality of life also will be uh, greater. Man we evolved in such a way from the primitive life to after uh, uh, education only they have, they got the civilization has grown to, um, that has evolved to this stage. The same thing to maintain all those things, we need social studies, uh, the different branches of so social studies for every child, I feel. And for this, we all will, uh, educationists and uh, uh, all the bodies, uh, governing bodies, everybody will have to work together, think together, and a brainstorm has to happen. And um, uh, media and uh, people also will have to highlight the issue only then it, it will bring a kind of awareness among the uh, people, uh, all the parents' mindset, the students' mindset, everything uh, will change. And uh, maybe in a short time uh, after this uh, program, after this issue, uh, it might create a kind of awareness, uh, at least with few. To start with few, it, it might be useful. Yeah, I'm definitely very optimistic that this should definitely change and NEP moving and uh, STEM becoming and where art becoming an integral part of education. Uh, Sudha, madam, I would like to specifically ask you and Maribhutu sir followed by the same question I would like to take to you asking you is this. Uh, personally, I had this question as a child. I had this question always that uh, I like uh, the aspect of social science, but however, a topic like history, 
I always wonder why should I know who killed whom? You know, that, that kind of thought process which we did in the history part of it. So why do you think history is an important aspect for the community? So I don't think it uh, teaches about who killed whom, but uh, mm-hmm. I think uh, that teaches about how our roots developed and how we struggled to come to this place where we are right now. So it's only the pathway that we are, we are just introducing children to get to our roots. Like that is what, as I already told you, like it's our roots. Like as we teach them our culture and tradition, that is how children have to learn what we were in the past and where are we now so that the roots are stronger enough. The children, as they grow into this technological world, they need to have their base in our tradition. So when they need to understand where are we from actually, so that makes them a strong personality as they are. So I think uh, it is not teaching about who killed whom and uh, that teaches about how strong we are under our roots and how do we have to uphold that root to the top wherever we go to hold on to our roots. Yeah, yeah, I, I, maybe wonderfully put by Dr. Sudha. Uh, Mr. Marimoto, do you have any different perspective of looking at why should somebody know his history today? And what does it mean to me knowing of something in 1800s or 1900s, so on? Thank you. Yeah, uh, this is a very important subject. Uh, one should know their root, uh, where they came from, how their ancestors ruled this world, and uh, what is their culture, art, and uh, their tradition. And that is very important. That's all about uh, history talks about in the past, how people live into that and how we came from that. All these are very important to proceed further and proceed uh, for the future. Since every individual cannot lose its own traditional values and the culture, all this kind of tradition and cultures comes from their own root and the, the history thoughts Uh, about our ancestors and how they lived in this society, how they hard struggled to come up with their sophisticated life or something else. Today, what we are lived in a civilized society and we got all sort of facilities and comfort. But those people who have uh, started their journey and their uh, way of living, it's uh, it's wonderful. Unless otherwise we learn history, those things may not be uh, come to our real life. And we, we will never take it to the next generation. So history is one such subject that we have to uh, mandatorily learn and uh, uh, who we are, how we came, and uh, how in, uh, where we live into this society. So it's very, very important. And of, of course, it's not only with the subject of history, it is also equivalent to the subject of geography when we call it as. Yet science is very, very important that we learn our own societal values. So uh, the, the vegetation is came from the yet science only. The geography is came uh, the, the vegetation is came from the geography only. So uh, our food culture, our, our tra- traditional values, our food, food values, all this comes from the, uh, the, the grounds, which we talk about the history and geography. So it's very, very important. One should learn on this particular subject. Yeah, thanks, Ms. Maimutu and Dr. Sudha for bringing the changing. Can I, sorry, sir, can I disturb? Yeah, yeah, definitely, ma'am, please. Uh, I would also like to put an input here saying, till grade seven, when social studies is taught, on the whole, all the branches I'm talking about, can it not be that that state, like known to unknown, so if the child learns about thy state, all the aspects like geography, or civics, or history, or teaching a child about the Delhi Sultanate, sitting here in Tamil Nadu, or uh, a child in Kerala tries to understand about, uh, uh, let us say, Humayu or uh, Sher Sasuri or Shivaji, the child doesn't really understand much. So let the child strengthen with its own state first. And by grade eight, if we can bifurcate, I think that would also be a reason, that can also be a reason why there is, you know, a little bit of, uh, a little dislike maybe. Because understanding is not very strong. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, so I would like to take a final question from all of you for um, to close this session. Uh, this is very important. I would like to understand mostly in the form of strategy, strategy used in classrooms in order to make this subject uh, interesting for children and important for children. Um, in other words, I'm trying to say is I know as an educator and teachers, you have a shoulders to carry to make children interested in subject which you like, right? So can you help me to understand one strategy which you feel has worked for you 
as educator where you made children to fall in love with subject you teach can we have a repetition of the question sir subject yes. you teach uh, a specific in social studies or any subject yes yeah, social science i am talking about the subject which you teach in school now as a social science uh, i would like to know a strategy which has worked for you uh, across the year uh, where you felt the children started liking the subject uh, and uh, you felt this was the right strategy for any teacher probably can try this out yeah. dr sudha like can i can i take it can i can i answer ma'am ah, yeah, yeah yeah i would like to listen from everyone one each one let's do that let's do that like uh, sir i think uh, it's like a dramatical when you teach talking about history and uh, the dates and the years that we have to remember like i think the best way we have tried is make it a dialogue based or a story based a role play model so i think children understood better that way like as compared to learning it as a theory or like what happened and who did and all that with a lot of uh, only text on the history books like uh, history books are always only filled with text and there are no pictures colorful pictures or anything so when that happens with a story like as we give in english like we also in uh, give inputs in english uh, lessons with some um, incidents from history right and that is given as a story or a dialogue between two people and what happened so i think children understood better that way when we make history in a dramatical way or a role play model so that worked out very well because they understand the story better so that they remember things and years better okay so one strategy i see is as a educator at our teacher of social science you used role play man is it right uh, can i have sir yes yes please miss morning there are many projects that we can go with social studies one is that in political science we can uh, have a youth parliament programs and uh, we will conduct a, a how it works and when coming to the history a drama will uh, makes a sense of that particular subject will give life uh, on that particular subject life on that particular subject and when you coming to the geography and the different landscapes how it works with a, a working model or a non working model will be uh, makes the children interest in that particular subject so there are various ways that uh, we, we can teach social studies in very interesting manner but the thing is that uh, in present scenario the teachers doesn't have time for them to uh, cope with such kind of uh, vibrant activities and role plays uh, and uh, dramas uh, to intact enact in inside the classroom and make the children interesting more interesting and vibrant with the subject the reason behind is that uh, we are lacking in time and the huge subjects has to be covered all these problems are there for a social studies teacher that makes the child boring with the subject and it is going with abstract manner and uh, uh, running through the syllabus it doesn't work out uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, interest fact and uh, other way so uh, uh, the only way that uh, social studies can be uh, um, made interest is that first creating awareness to the children and making them to learn in an interesting and more innovative uh, methods and activities and making them to enact uh, and uh, do a role play on their same character will uh, will do uh, will take this subject uh, more vibrant and uh, in future also it will be live life will be there so i Thank get you. the strategy of uh, what you suggesting is and like a parliament kind of thing or a uh, mun youth parliament youth, youth parliament. parliament or mun which is popular among various schools yes. and they try to uh, add that as a value right in terms of helping children to yes. Uh, yes. get interested in the subject i am not even looking at whether a child has to learn everything but i'm looking at a child getting interested in the subject with strategy yes, yes. it's more important yeah right wonderful thanks so much for coming thank you madam musharan yeah thank you sir uh i like to mention some uh, an activity that we had in our school during this covid times humne kya kiya uh, it was like quite uh, it was completely depending on the mobile so what we did is we connected with our um, alumni we have a student who is an army officer soldier we have students in merchant navy we have student who is a pilot who flies a cargo flight all the way to north pole 
So these are the places where, no, many other places, uh, uh, Sri Lanka, Andamans, Maldives, Mauritius, Singapore, uh, Paris. So we had many students who, who connected and it was like uh, uh, around the world in 80 days. So it was like around the world in almost two hours. So uh, we had a program like this where children from all different places, they connected and we gave them a time slot. It was a Zoom session and children all uh, joined in. And uh, this developed uh, a flutter. And uh, so it was like very, it was a very interesting program. This is a very, uh, it was not a very organized one, but it was very wonderful. Uh, when you look at the whole uh, way, way it was presented, it was really nice. A good uh, initiative. And there are some, such small, small programs out of the box when you think. You can connect, like we have this pen friends, like that. We can have a, a school to school inter exchange program where the children from other school connect and you can make geography very interesting. Let us not, when you say Tundra region, when you say North Pole, when you talk about uh, 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 Siberia, it's a small, everything comes with the mobile. Ashto Dunya has become so, world has become just into in a mobile, you can get the entire world. So, uh, uh, you can compress it into a mobile. So that can be used. The digital forum can be used uh, to encourage children and, uh, and you know, uh, develop a liking for social studies. It's ultimately the teacher's interest and uh, the parent's cooperation and uh, how the, the relationship between the teacher and the child works out. What chemistry should and the physics should be between them is, if it is good, it will really be a wonderful uh, session. I also remember having a UNO uh, a mock session and uh, it was an online program. So all the children like at their home, like they had to dress up and they had to sit and they had to speak. So we had briefed them about uh, the country and they had to like Google in. They had to make small videos ready about the country and uh, then they had to present. Now we are planning for a G20 session, a small a mock session we are planning where the children can present and um, and uh, uh, how they, in their uh, perspective, look at G20. So, as a thoda sa kuch kare, and uh, digital, uh, uh, that is, smart rooms play a vital role. And usually in geography, you will find smart room is not much used. It is only the science teacher, especially the, the zoology, the bot biology teacher uses it more. This is my personal uh, observation. I, I might even be wrong. So, if this can be used, and the parents could be encouraged or the, or the, at the university level entrance. Uh, children who, are, who have taken uh, uh, what do you call uh, social studies, if they're given a little extra mark or a bonus, you know, I'm very sure, I'm very sure uh, social studies will be, you know, like once upon a time, it was like social studies was looked up so beautifully. First of all, social studies. And even the system, like uh, as soon as you see, you say biology as the first group. As an hour, okay, you can keep first social studies. Like that, you can bring, and you can bring uh, biology as the last. You know, that system and all, if you can slowly change, I'm very sure things will work out well. Thank yeah. you, sir. Thank you so much, uh, um, madam. Uh, like, I like, like the aspect of G20, because you're trying to connect to the present ecosystem also what is happening, and it's wonderful to put it across. Really, uh, we'll have to thank and appreciate CBSC for uh, Evolving with the new ideas like uh, G20 and all the other program for bringing yeah. awareness among the students. Heritage quiz to say um, uh, even parliament uh, related activities, everything they are bringing in now. This kind of uh, change in curriculum also if it is there and the pattern, if they bring in some kind of practical marks, if they bring in uh, the system, that also might uh, help the students uh, to concentrate in all the instead of writing essays and uh, descriptive alone they are focusing now instead if they are concentrating more on uh, project related uh, kind of uh, presentation and other things they will involve more and uh, a kind of uh, change will uh, come soon Th thanks for the opportunity to share our views sir Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I know you, 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 you prove to be a real uh, teacher. In front of challenges, you still make your point and uh, helping us to understand. Thank you so much for making it. I would like to thank all of the educators for sharing your interesting views on how do you look at social science and how do you probably rework in terms of putting it across the to parents and the society in general. Uh, stay safe, healthy, and happy. God bless you. Can I ask you a question, sir? 
Yes, please, ma'am. Yeah. What is your take on this, sir? Um, I definitely want this component to be there in every stream of education. I would put it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, to give example, when IIT started, IITs were five years in the past. When IIT just started in the in the 1950s. So the first year, they also had one subject, which was in psychology. Also, they had an aspect of social science as a part of engineering. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I feel every uh, subject we learn, there should be a component of various combination of subjects, maybe literally a component of everything else, at least in the beginning of first year. And then, uh, like, for example, when I, I was doing my uh, studies at IAC Bangalore, Digital Science Bangalore, uh, I actually got into water and sanitation, but... I got dwelled into understanding why sanitation is so difficult in villages. So my behavioral aspect of social science came into picture very high. So I think those connecting dots are very important in education for all the educators to bring that and say that this is all connected in some other ways. And if you understand that, I think we'll solve a larger problem rather than solving the micro problems. Uh, and we try to probably give system and society a better solution and better answers, especially the social, social problems of life. I think if they are fixed, I think the technology can be fixed a little later easily. I have a small request from all our side as faculty members. We The positive side can be mentioned. Like you have uh, um, Paramvir Chakra recipients. We had a Paramvir Chakra recipient, uh, uh, Mr. Virendra Singh Yadav, to our school, Mr. Bana Singh. Uh, they, two Paramvir Chakra recipients have visited our school. As they, bade bade log, jo warriors, hai, uh, the achievers, it's really G20 like that a smaller level if we can do I'm sure social studies thank you very much sir thank you for the opportunity given. or we can even make it mandatory in class 11 social science must one class paper 12, huh? yeah one paper so that uh, class 12 it can be taken off but at least uh, they'll understand that, the importance that's what of I mentioned Ma. that is what I mentioned huh. like EBS and general studies this also can be a, a thing. Uh, a wrong. mandatory one. Yes. Mandatory one. You are saying uh, uh, you teach the children about good touch and bad touch. You are teaching them about Poxco and all these things. So, a paper, social studies. Yeah, I think worth an advice.